All right, thank you so much for tuning back into another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset Era. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! All right. And as you've seen in the title, we're bringing back channel favorites. The, the Warning! warning. Uh, someone, I think his name was Jeff Johnson, kept commenting on every freaking video almost we posted last week gotta do the warning disciple at live at teatro okay fine we'll, we'll get to it we're doing it now so <laughs> there you go there you go we've been doing a little bit of uh we've actually done like four or five of this uh concert That's a, yeah uh so this is another one uh popular demand by at least one very vocal individual <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get to it. I wanted to anyway. Uh, it has come up a couple other times, so you're not alone, Jeff. But you were the most vocal. Yep. Uh, anyway, so we're checking out the Warning Disciple live at Teatro Metropolitan CDMX. August twenty ninth, twenty twenty two. That's right. I was posted to their channel uh, seven months ago. Has hundred and fifteen thousand views, and we got some comments here. Ali's bass intro and playing is at another level. Super well done. Yes. Yes. Pow is so sick on those drums. She's a beast. Absolutely incredible. Also, yes. Yes. I love the drummer can sing and play at the same time. She's spot on. So Russian. When here. the best when the bass came in to start, God, I got chills. Oh, nice. Uh we can't wait to see them live again. The energy, the singing, the head banging. It's all I ever wanted. Just like when I listen to Iron Maiden in Rock and Rito, I just get the epic vibe. Nice. Nice. Their arrangements are incredible. Every note, every twist and turn, every change makes absolute sense and serves the song. Such intelligent songwriting. They understand the ins and outs of heavy music so well. Makes me feel 16 again. <laughs> Obsessed. <laughs> nice. OMG, I'm just learning of these young ladies in 2023. How can you not like this? Another level of wonderful. Or another another level of rock wonderful. Also that. Yes. Yeah, we just discovered them this year as well, so yeah. you're not alone. Yeah. How can Paulina sing while she's playing the drums at that level is beyond my understanding. Oh, I, I only know of a handful of drummers that can legitimately do that. Yeah. You know, Phil Collins, Eric Carr, Peter Chris. Yep. I like to play drums and sing sometimes, but it's not that easy. Yeah. Uh, He's better at playing guitar and singing. That's true. <laughs> uh, I always love the bass intro, and the whole performance is wow, incredible. I haven't listened to rock music for a while, but these girls are going to be into rock again. Awesome. Nice. Welcome back to the rock world. Yes. Best songwriters, best performance, best band in decades, if not ever. Love every single song on every CD. They never miss. And with that, I think we can already jump in this yep, one. I think so too. And for anyone tuning in for the very first time, or jumping in for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome. Pool's, up, pool's open. Water's fine. We got a we got a vending machine over there. We got snacks in the fridge. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. All right. Well, um, we do have some playlists for the warning. Two of them. We did the entire Queen of the Wur Murder Scene concept album. They did uh, with the live versions that was at live at uh, Lunario. Lunario, that's right. And then we also have another playlist of the warning of everything that's not in that playlist. All of our warning is in a single playlist uh, that's not part of that se that series. So I think we're about 14 in on one and then there was like 13 or 14 on the other one already. Something so like that. So we've done over 30 year warning videos. So if you like the warning, you're in good hands. Yep. Check out our stuff. Uh but if you're not new to the channel, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. You've been waiting this whole time. It's time for the glorious epic transition. transition. Warp. All right, Jeff Johnson, I see you trolling on my on my videos here's your dang video no we're gonna check this out we actually checked the we haven't seen this one live yet we did do the video it was a long time ago so yeah. i don't know if we remember so a refresher's in order yes so i don't as far as comparing the live to the pre-recorded we won't be able to give too much insight on that it's been a while uh, so, since we've heard the song I yeah think. But, and i think i think it's better that way yeah so we're gonna so kind way, of experience it for the second time experience it all over again yes because i don't know if i remember it i i mean I, from gathered the the comments there's something going on in the base at the beginning so here we yeah. go yeah. nice 
Is it lighting up for the ones who's playing? Oh no, it's just the way it looked. Sorry, I don't want to talk over it. Kinda does look like that though. Wall of sound, they're playing yes. note for note, the same thing. Obviously, there's an octave between them, mm -hmm. but that's it. Same overall progression of notes. Look at all those tracks. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I love the fill. Sorry, guys. Very busy bass drum uh, pattern. It yeah, it's like boom, 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 boom. She's doing some pretty, pretty busy bass drum work on that. It's a very interesting uh, beat that they're playing. It's very sultry sounding, very groovy. I like it. The world is an Film. I was not expecting that. I was like, she's got to go to the top. Why should she go into the top? And she's like, I'm waiting. Because <laughs> I'm waiting yep. till it makes the biggest impact. That's why. Yep. yep. Here we yep. go. <laughs> So she seems a little higher pitched here in compared to Danny. Danny's got kind of a thicker, lower kind of a register. And, yeah. Oh, and I I don't know. I feel like she's kind of a chameleon because she can hit those high notes behind Danny, but I've heard her sing low too. So I don't, it's, it's very interesting how she's picking to change. I think that she's doing it. And if you look at her character, uh, how she's like, it's almost like she's in character. And I, it, maybe there is a story behind this, why she's singing it this way. But if you look at her, she's trying to, she almost looks like she's being like a princess at a parade or something. something. And she's singing in a much 
different register than I'm used to hearing or singing. Yeah. It's very high. And it's almost like it's supposed to be prissy. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be kind of, ah, here I am. I don't know. You guys have to fill me in on that. Yeah. Yeah, she brings it down though. Nice. I love this guitar part. So simple but so moody. Yeah, that's my kind of. That's my jam. Nice stop. Yeah. Shut up. Well, that uh, love and admiration. I guess. All right, let's flip back over. All right. That was the warning with Disciple live at Teatro Metropolitan CDMX. Yep. August 29th, 2022. Can't believe that was a year. A year ago. And they are now on MTV. Doing and the VMAs and until we were opening up for Guns N' Roses. Yeah, well, no, I think they skipped out on one of those shows to do the MTV thing. Well, they were on tour with Guns N' Roses, but they yeah, were, MTV yeah. on you know touring and big, bigger shows and getting me, more and, and more exposure. So yes, and and doing it as a family. That's yeah. That's 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 great. That's 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 something. Yeah, for sure. not everyone's able to do that, and when you're able to pull it off like that, I mean, like there was Van Halen and Pantera, and there's you know heavier examples like Evile. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, anyone at home who knows what I'm talking about, you know, yeah. Cool. For those that don't, go look them up. They're a great band. All Anyways. Right. Anyways. Speaking of great bands. Yeah, we just talked, watched The Warning Disciple. Yes, that yes, we did. A great song. I love that it, there was a cool wall of sound groove at yes, the beginning. Yes, great, you know, great the main riff. The, there are a lot of different feels from the halftime to the full time to the, and then the cr incredible fills that she's doing. Yes, and the you know, her drums were, they sounded you know the way really that they were good. mics and everything they just sounded so huge so perfect. powerful it just went, the perfect amount of a of a punch to them perfect yeah you know, bass sounded great yeah well guitar sounded great. great yeah you know, so all the vocals sounded good yes um i still think i think um uh, she uh pow did a different thing with her voice that when she came in with her part of the middle so you guys will let me know if it sounded maybe different we should too. maybe we should do a compare and contrast to this I mean, yeah. I mean, that wasn't the wasn't Disciple the first music video that we reacted to? Not the first one. The first one was Choke. That's all oh, Choke. That's right. But yeah. I, but Disciple was one of the first. One of the first. It was one of the videos we watched. It was yeah, a so, very like flashy video where they had like I forget. It's like kind of like a military type. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's kind of coming back to me now. Kind of like a sci-fi military thing. Uh, but yeah, we should do something like that. We're, <laughs> we're in the future. Yes. All right. Well, that was the warning. Our disciple, we loved it. That was a great song. I had a great time with it. The, I loved the hook. The whoa. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that was so cool. How Danny just took the mic and just you know yeah. went full on front woman and just commanded yeah. the crowd to you know just do that. And it's it's a simple melody. Yeah. But it's it's engaging. Exactly. You know, and it's a great way to you know to get the crowd involved, get the energy going back and forth like that. Like, right. 
We got to do a song like that too. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. We have a couple. Yeah. yeah well, we, we got to do them more. Yeah. We got to get people involved. We got to. Yeah. You know, we got to. First off, we got to add them back into the set, <laughs> and then we got to get better at getting people involved. Yes, that's true. Yeah. We got to get. We got to like go into the audience and have people stand up. All right, everybody, stand up now. Put down your drinks. Put down your tablets and get on with it. <laughs> So if you haven't noticed already, uh, we are a band. We are yep. off our, we are Offset Era. We're two thirds of Offset Era, based out of Southwest Florida. And we're an all original band. Do a lot of heavier pop punk and uh, heavy. We're genre adjacent. If you want to know what stuff. we mean, check out. We have a playlist of all of our original music. Yes. Uh, we just put out an EP a couple months back called A New Era. Six yep. brand new songs, all original, very fun to play. Yeah. And one of all the... of them are in the set. Yeah. And we have two new songs mm -hmm. for a future EP, and we have two new new songs with them demoed. Yes. So, so we're really excited about where we're going. You know, ranking them out. You know, reacting to bands like The Warning, and you know, all the bands from Japan that do amazing, amazing things with their songs. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's inspiring him especially. Yeah. Because you know he's got all the all the fancy schmancy stuff at home. So, <laughs> you know, so and it, and going off of what he writes, you know, taking it in through my you know the way I write my parts. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's just so exciting, you know, what we're going to be able to do and, mm -hmm. you know. Sky's the limit. Yeah, exactly. And yep. I love that we're, I love that we've kind of like opened up the box or not just opened up the box, but we've kind of like torn down the box that I think we were, we were kind of confined in before, like right. just trying to stick to like one specific style and just, and putting right. in, or not, or not even one specific. Cause when I joined, you know, it was kind of like, you know, it was like pop punk, but you had some ska and you had some heavy and you had some groove and hip hop in there yeah. as well. But, yeah. but with the. The heavier that we get, the more variety that we introduce right, as well. And, right. And, and it, my point is, <laughs> we have a lot. The point is, we all have a lot to look forward to. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, we got a we got a couple of shows coming up That's Saturday, true. November eighteenth at Rackham Spirits and Times in downtown Cape. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure who else is going to be on the bill just yet. So when we have some more information about it, we'll get back to you on that. Sounds good. And we have some. And uh, we have another. We have another show at Ollie's Pub Records and Beer in the works. Mm -hmm. I just don't remember who else is on the lineup and what the date is yet, but okay. it'll come back to me. All right. Well, we'll be announcing stuff so shortly. If you want to join us on social media, we can on... follow us on Facebook. Instagram. Right. Those we have a TikTok. We do have a TikTok, but we're not active on it. Yeah, we should. I, I post every once in a while, but yeah, I need to get on TikTok. Uh, you know, I'm in my thirties. I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. We do appreciate you uh, subscribing and liking and commenting. Everything you guys do, we appreciate You're all it. Awesome. Thank you so much, and for checking out our music, we appreciate that as well. Yeah. Uh, but let us know what you want to see back from the warning or any other video. Let whether us it's know. A, whether it's another music video or a live video, we right. would be happy to do both. Yes. All of the above. Exactly. Yes. So let us know. Thank you so much. That's the end of this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. See ya.